Hello, my name is Matt Heller. I'm a double bassist in Calgary, Alberta, and it's my great pleasure today to be speaking with the composer Libby Larson from her home in Minneapolis. Good morning, Libby. Good morning, Matt. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so the occasion is that um, we are preparing for a live streamed performance of Libby's uh, wonderful brilliant, uh, very fun piece called Four on the Floor. It's written for um, piano, violin, cello, and my instrument, the double bass. So I'm very excited to get to perform this piece um, for a virtual audience. And um, Libby, I, I wonder if you can just tell me a little bit about the origins of this piece or any memories it brings to mind as you revisit it or think of it today. Sure, it would be a pleasure actually. Uh, it's kind of a blast from the past in, <laughs> in a couple ways. Uh, 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 behind the inspiration of, of, of this piece, um, when I was uh, growing up in, in, in Minneapolis uh, and was uh, just uh, getting my driver's license, age 16, uh, 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 my father uh, uh, brought, bought, brought uh, home, uh, a car he had purchased, which was a 1957 Thunderbird uh, uh, convertible. Uh, I'm a, from a family of, of five girls and two older sisters and I were all of driving age at that point in time. So my dad, I think, I can't imagine what got into him, but it got into him to start buying hot cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must have been a on board with that, I, I guess, as a okay, teenager. Yeah, on board with it. And so being a new driver uh, and also being a, a kind of a daredevil personality uh, lives inside of me. Um, my, my dad uh, would uh, hand me the car keys uh, and um, two or three dollars and um, give me the task of going to the store to, to buy a loaf of bread. <laughs> So I could practice driving. Well, the sure. store only um, was, uh, I, I'd been walking to that store since I was five years old. It was only a block and a half away. <laughs> <laughs> so I took advantage of the car keys <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, um, and I uh, would, would take a, a, a rather circuitous route to the, the bakery. Um, I would um, uh, go out onto the newly constructed and not finished uh, interstate highways uh, that uh, that were being built around the Twin Cities, uh, and um, and I uh, would um, uh, basically drive really really fast, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and I thought it was glorious. I thought it was wonderful. I'd come home and with the bread and the car keys, and my dad would be smiling uh, and saying, "Oh, that what, how was it? I'm fine, <laughs> great." <laughs> but um, uh, of course. Uh, in my uh, uh, in my uh, more mature years, I realized how really dangerous that was. It, you yeah. know, it, really, really dangerous. Uh, 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 so, when I was inspired to write four on the floor, I was asked to write a piece for a very young, uh, you know, um, uh, just about your age, really virtuosic uh, chamber chamber ensemble, and they wanted a piece that would show off their virtuosity. Uh, and I, uh, I responded with this piece, Four on the Floor. Uh, my thinking uh, at the time was, and it still is actually, that, um, that um, we, we, you and me, uh, so many of us are being asked to live uh, virtuosic lives. Mm -hmm. L lives where we are asked to, to concentrate deeply when we're making music and then one hour later, it, you know, uh, uh, be 50 miles away giving a concert. You, uh, and so changing emotions, changing, just changing our energies in a really virtuosic way. Uh, and, um, and I thought, uh, I'm going to approach four on the floor uh, the, uh, uh, from the point of view of living a virtuosic life in a culture that requires us uh, uh, to uh, be technically skilled in so many things, uh, but to perform 
uh, these things in a virtuosic way, which is just outside the edge of our capacity to hang on, right. you know, much less to understand the consequences, you know, of, of this virtuosic life we're living. So the piece just became um, a, a, a piece about uh, um, about focus, uh, speed, uh, uh, exhilaration, uh, and danger. That's, That's what's in this. <laughs> I, I, I love that description. Um, you, you describe it in, in your little note um, that it is uh, a celebration of American music and American musicians, and, and it's a speed verging on breakneck, and breakneck is the theme of the piece, an America that is speeding up faster and faster, jazzing into eternity. I love that too. Um, just this sense of, of playfulness and you know, we're all hanging in this together, hoping that we make it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we should rethink that <laughs> at this particular moment in our, in our history. You know, that sort well. of, <laughs> you know, hanging on, hoping we make it is, is, a, um, is a, a, an interesting thought these days. It uh, is. Yeah. Yeah, we, we live in very challenging and very breakneck times uh, for sure. But uh, but there there is, as I said, such a sense of fun and play at the same time. As you say, we're we're speeding off into some really real some real danger spots at times. Yes, <laughs> we are in, in in so many ways, and, and time has sped up so much uh, it's between 1984 when I wrote this piece and 2020. Mm -hmm. You know that um, I, um, I, I, and you know many of us have witnessed the speeding up, you know, mm -hmm. and the consequences that are beginning to emerge. Uh, a good example is Facebook. Yeah, has <laughs> <laughs> yeah. been some collisions on there. <laughs> collisions, you know, and some real consequences, and you know, and uh, uh, with the technology that allowed our communication to speed up beyond our our uh, need to uh, reflect on the nature of our communication. So it's interesting. We have several models at work now in our world. <laughs> I, I love this piece too, because it, it calls on us, as you said, to bring this sense of ultimate focus, even no matter where we're going to be speeding off on the freeway after afterwards, or dealing with family life, dealing with, you know, the the currents of politics and and all the uh, the many things we're we're seeing happen today, uh, we have to be right in the moment for the, for the six minutes this piece uh, transpires. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Or 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 uh, I I hate to put you on edge, but <laughs> uh, but I built into the piece uh, the uh, the uh, the fact that the performers really need to be right in the moment, really mm -hmm. in the beat you know, while in the groove, or the piece crashes and burns. <laughs> no. um, uh, yes, in the, uh, when the piece was, piece was first being performed on festivals and what have you, there, um, uh, uh, there were a couple instances um, uh, where the piece did crash and burn uh, in, in performance, uh, and which is, which is terrible. Uh, um, although um, not, not necessarily, depending on how the performers deal with it and how the audience per perceives it. Um, yeah. But uh, uh, it, it, and then the piece was attempted again, you know, uh, and uh, uh, and then there was one instance where at the very same spot the piece crashed again, uh, and uh, uh, so we all laughed, everybody, the performers, the audience, everybody laughed, and uh, uh, and then the piece was performed again and it was fine. Mm -hmm. um, but I think uh, uh, maybe. Um, the assumption that I was making when I was putting all those notes on paper, you know, just saying, you know, if you're the bass player, you, you know, you just have to stay with it, you know, because because there's no, uh, it's not, although although it's based in jazz progressions, it's not based in any of the progressions you know, you know, you know, in your in your muscle memory. So you kind of have to stay on on top of it. Um, yes. but, the, uh, uh, as does as does everyone, uh, you know, all of the musicians. 
uh, because I keep tricking them and turning them and, you know, as if peripheral vision were going so fast that you, you really couldn't anticipate the mm -hmm. phrase or the cadence or, you, you know, um, um, but something's changed um, over the years that this piece has been performed it, uh, is that um, I, when I, when I wrote the piece, um, we didn't have the internet. Uh, and uh, um, uh, 10 years later, the internet was just brand new. You know, 20 years later, we have a generation that was, that, whose brain patterns were used to skipping around the way we do on internet you know, being interrupted. Yeah, uh, it, yes, you know, just being distracted here and distracted there and having to keep your focus, you know, uh, uh, while you're communicating, while you're also being distracted by ads and, you know, all, all kinds of things. And the more that that's happened, and not, this is just Libby's theory, you know, but the more that our brains are trained to focus in the face of interruption, it, you know, um, the more uh, uh, we invent uh, 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 instruments to practice that, uh, mm. uh, the technological instrument it becomes instrument. sort of our mo our mode or way of being. Yep, and um, and the and inevitably the music that we composers, mm -hmm. you know, uh, put put forth, um, I, I think um, is will is reflecting the changes in the ways in the ways we focus in our culture. We don't focus the way people focused when Mozart was writing music. No, no. <laughs> you know? it's it's nice to to be in a Mozart headspace, but we always return to the Internet, don't we? <laughs> we do, you know, and um, and um, I'm not condemning the Internet uh, at all. I'm saying the Internet was invented by us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was evolved by us. Uh, and to, it's evolving us, I and, guess. And now it's evolving us, yeah, which is the instruments evolve the musicians, you know, and the musicians evolve the instruments. Uh, with four on the floor, it, it's, you know, the form, F-O-R-M, mm -hmm. you know, it, um, is evolved from the culture we live in, you know, and the, and the focus of the musician is evolved also from the culture that we live in. Well, that's one, it's wonderful thoughts to to ponder as as we get ready to perform this and thank you so much for for sharing with me today and and discussing this piece it's it's been such a lovely pleasure to meet you and and really to perform your work so thank you oh thanks matt and and i i hope the performance goes very well i wish that i was there with you physically but i'm, <laughs> I'm really pleased to at least be here virtually and thank you very much